Live from the living room of the Physioc abode, it's time for Bingo Blackout. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Physioc, Kansas City Royals broadcaster. And because of the coronavirus lockdown, we've decided to reach out to our great fans for a different kind of competition. Bingo Blackout, where 10 of the best challengers from Tiffany Springs Senior Living Community in North Kansas City will be competing for a beautiful Royals basket. And joining me for this fantastic competition is my longtime friend and fellow Royals broadcaster, Rex the Wonder Dog Huddler, who, because of social distancing, has been confined to the basement of his house. Rex, of course, is a tremendous baseball player, a man who played in over 800 Major League games, covering 13 Major League seasons. He now joins us for the ultimate challenge of Bingo Blackout. Rex, Lay the ground rules out for our contestants today. Fizz, what a day it is, man. It's beautiful. We got action. We got some of the greatest fans in, in all the world that are sitting here watching us today, Fizz. Boy, but I'll tell you what, in order for them to succeed in this bingo game, they're going to have to really focus. They're going to have to really concentrate. And if I'm calling the numbers, they'll have to really pay attention. Well, I know. The rules, the rules uh, yes, and, and etiquette. Each bingo card contains 24 numbers and a blank square. When the game starts, random numbers are drawn, and whoever completes the bingo card first wins. And how about that? Raise your hand if you want to win. You're not playing. <laughs> you want to win. Okay, hey, look, there are some rules, though. I know that there's not a lot of you, you guys aren't are all together, so there's social distancing, which is appropriate, and we need to do that. But look, no elbowing, no taunting, okay? No, and make sure that you're a good sport and no hamming or rubbing it in on the person. <laughs> well, Rex, I've got to ask you, because you were part of this competition in the 2016 season, and there were three competitors, yourself, Jeff Montgomery, and Joel Goldberg. You finished third of that three-man competition and i know it's it's a disappointment that has haunted you for years but fizz as great as joel goldberg is and jeff montgomery i feel just fine finishing third behind them because now if it's anybody else they'd be in trouble and i would feel bad but still we got some great fans here fizz i can't wait to get into the action well before we get started i'd like to give a big shout out to Carrie Weir, who's the executive chef at Tiffany Springs Senior Living Community, and she is the one who organized this entire event. I'd also like to send a shout out to the Kansas City Royals and Royals Charities. They are taping this Zoom, and they're going to replay it sometime this week. As many of you know, the Royals care about our community. As an example, recently, Royals Chairman and CEO John Sherman announced a donation on behalf of the Royals Investors players, and Royals Charities to Harvesters, the Community Food Network, to fund more than 500,000 meals to address food insecurity in greater Kansas City during the COVID-19 pandemic. So thanks very much to our entire Royals family. Well, now it's time to move on to the competition. These are the 10 competitors today from Tiffany Springs. And this is a graphic that my wife, Stacy, <laughs> made up earlier today. We have Rodney and Shirley Keyes, Don Varney, Gordon and Nancy Shaw, Mary Thrutchley, Claudia Bocon, Charlene Smiley, Letha Jackson, Ray Sticken, and Wilma Rostein. So bingo opponents, are you ready? All right, HUD, make the call. All right, here's the first roll of the day. Here it is. All right, folks, I'm hoping you're all fired up for G48, G48, G as in great. Yeah, and you know, Rodney Keyes is a great competitor out there, HUD. He's a guy from St. Joe, Missouri, who is part of our Air National Guard. And he's just a great competitor, and we want to thank him for being part of today's action. Heck yeah, thanks for your service, Rodney. But I'll tell you, I, I want to go fishing with you, man. Let's go. I see you got, you're a good woodworker and you're a taxidermy. That's all, all great hobbies and good for, for you to have that, Rodney. All right, we're going for our second number. Here we go. Uh -oh. oh, no. Someone fell off. I'm going to put them all back. <laughs> I have a little technical difficulties here. 
But my next number, our next number is 074. 074. You know, well, Rodney's probably with Shirley Keys, who's also from St. Joe. And, you know, she grew up on a dairy farm. And you actually won a dairy farm competition at the ballpark. Remember that milking a competition you enjoyed, Hud, a few years back? Oh, heck yeah, Fizz. Now, tell you what, it's very important that, that you have certain character team players. She's a character. We need her. And I'm sure hoping that she's able to win today, Fizz. Here's my next number. Here it is. Our num next number is G is in great, 58. G is in great, 58. And how about for Don Barney? We had a chance to talk to Don Barney. You know, he's got nine grandkids, huh? That's pretty cool. And he also loves reading, also fishing, and grilling whatever he catches down by the pond. Oh, Fizz, him and I wouldn't have any problem hanging out, man. I love Don Barney. Barney's, he's firing me up, man, because he likes steak and he likes fish. Yeah. All right, here we go. Next number. Next number is G is in great, 57. Wow, a lot of Gs. G57, 57. Well, speaking of G, how about Gordon? Gordon and Nancy Scholl are two of our competitors today, and Gordon is from Gladstone, Missouri. He has traveled the world with his lovely wife, Nancy, and today they're playing Blackout Bingo. <laughs> and I know that they are ready for the next number here today, Fizz, and the next number is... Oh, six, one. Oh, six, one. So far, all we've had, all we've had are G's and O's. All righty. How about our next number? Next number on our bingo today is, is what new? G is in great, 47. We're, we're hitting all of them. Well, Mary Thrutchley is also with us today, and she hails from Greensboro, North Carolina. You know, another great royal from North Carolina that we enjoy watching and broadcasting is Whit Merrifield. Now, he went to the University of South Carolina, but he lives in North Carolina and loves it. Fantastic. You better believe it. Hey, hey uh, um, is this Mary we're talking about, Biz? Yes, yes, sir. Hey, I like the fact that her favorite TV show is Perry Mason. And the men from Uncle. Yes. <laughs> Raise your hand if you remember that movie. I do. Uh, what movie? It was a. What was it? It's just a, a, a little, a little a television story. show with Ily Kuryakin. <laughs> okay. All right. Next number. In as in Nancy. Forty-four. In forty-four. We did have a chance to meet Claudia Bocon, who is from Iowa. She has grand three grandsons that she's very proud of. Oh, man, that's so important, Fizz. Those, those grandparents are the best. We love you guys. We got to have you. All right, next number, here we go, is A is an apple, 32, A32. Hey, what the heck? There's no way. It's, what the heck? Oh, it's an N. In, my bad. My vision problem in in 32. In yeah, 32. Bingo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. I, I don't know where that, that, that letter came from. Well, maybe Charlene <laughs> stole your A and well, she hails from Liberty, Missouri, and has five grandkids and she loves Mexican food. Charlene <laughs> Smiley. Charlene, it's beautiful. Hey, uh, uh, you know, if you guys ever watch the Royals broadcast. You hear me miss, miss a quote all the time, and I always mess up. Same thing in bingo today. Here you go, next number. Next number and letter is N is in Nancy, 37. Staying hot on the N, N 37. Okay, let's get another ball out of there, because they've got to cover their entire uh, card. All right, let's go, man. I'm ready to go, Fizz. We've got plenty of time, man. I, I like sharing about our, our, our players and, and who they are and where they came from. I love all that stuff, Fizz. Hey, there's somebody just appeared over there. Is that Nancy? <laughs> I guess so. Nancy just joined. How you doing, Nancy? Lance, okay. Nancy and Gordon. I love them. Hey, uh, okay. 
Nancy and Gordon. They met on a blind date. Yeah, and you know what? They're, they're they're muted, so we can't they can't hear uh, we can't hear them, Fizz. Anyway, next number, folks. Next number, o six nine o six nine. Oh yeah. Reach into that tank. Do you know who loves Shark Tank? How about Letha Jackson, who's one of our competitors today? Oh man, that's a pretty good. Show. All right, B three. B is in baseball. Baseball three. B three. All right, yes, the numbers of the, the the bingo balls are hopping right out of here. Next number now. Oh six three. Oh six three. And Hyde, you want some numbers? How about Ray Sticken? He's out of Iowa. He's been married 64 years, has seven grandchildren and 16 great grandchildren. Woohoo! 64 years? Yeah. Uh, him a standing O. That's fantastic, man. Raise the roof for him. That's a beautiful thing. All right. Got another number coming here. Another letter number. All right. We have O six five. O six five. All right, Fizz, here we go. Got another number here, too. It's G as in great, 52, 52, G52. Well, I wonder uh, if Carrie is sitting with her grandmother right now, Wilma Rothstein, and Wilma is an outstanding uh, bingo player. She was a two-time All-American in bingo from the Lake of the Ozarks, has three grandchildren, and Carrie is one of them, who's the executive chef at Tiffany Springs. Gotta love that, man. She lobsters her favorite meal. That's outstanding. Loving me up. Hey, she liked the big band too, and as for some of her favorite music, she likes to read, knit, crochet. Heck, we're happy that Wilma is on with us today. All right, next number. N34. N is in Nancy 34. And we just want to remind our competitors that whoever wins, unmute yourself, and then you can shout out, bingo. <laughs> go ahead. Go. Okay, are you ready again? Are you ready? Okay, I have an I. I-26. I-26 is the next number and letter. Okay. Next one after that, everybody got that? How about B is in baseball 15? Outstanding. Is in baseball 15? Fizz, all these numbers, to me, a baseball player comes to mind when I see the numbers. Like when I say the number 56, what do you think of? I'm thinking a young, redheaded, 21 year old punk that was drafted by the Yankees made his debut, and that was the number that he wore. Joe DiMaggio, 56 well, games in the street. That's right, Fizz. Way to go, man. And uh, and speaking of the Yankees, B-15, that's Thurman Munson. Thurman was number 15. All right, here we go. Got another, another number coming here, right here. It is letter number N. N as in Nancy and 41. 41, Fizz. You know, I'm looking at uh, your design behind you, Hud, and it's beautiful. And Rodney Keyes, he loves to uh, do some woodworking. So if you have any problem with your baseball room, you can call Rodney Keyes to help you out with the woodworking. You know what, Rodney, I'm really excited. I want to talk to him about traveling to Hawaii, Fizz. He likes to go to Hawaii. I've never been to Nova Scotia, and he likes Alaska. All aboard! Yep. <laughs> Okie dokie, here we go. Next number, folks. We're staying hot in here. Ah, another N. Wow. N as in 3-9. N-3-9. What the heck's going on with all those Ns in there? Way to go. Pulls out another one. Oh, we've got, we've got another competitor here. 
Look who's joined us, Hud. Oh, hey, now that's a that's a, a very very fair advantage you have, Biz, over the rest of us. Some of us would love to have her with us, that we could hold her in our lap. She she is up. Good girl. <laughs> All right, here's the next number. I twenty three. I twenty three. That's Donnie Baseball's number, by the way. That's right. Fizz, come on, man. Let's find some Royals numbers here. Oh, 59. Who was a, who was a famous Royal that was 59? G59, folks. Well, that's got to be a pitcher. Who is it? It's got to be a pitcher, but I can't remember a 59. Yeah, I don't have my, uh, my, my, my uh, computer set up to where I can go there right away, Fizz. Yeah. We're gonna with 23, I was remembering Mark Gubizov. Oh, Gooby, are you kidding? He's no. fantastic. What a what an outstanding pitcher he was for the Royals and human being and broadcaster. He's great. How about if we go with G is in great again? Um, 50, 50, 50, G50. All right. Okay, everybody following along okay? Do, do you hear me okay? Do I need to talk louder or softer? You sound great. Thank you, Fizz. I-28. I-28 is the next one. Wasn't that Raul Abanez's number? Could have been, Fizz. Let's go with it. Heck, I love Abanez, man. I'm hoping that uh, he surfaces somewhere down the road, somewhere in a manager's seat. Okay, Fizz, here we go. B4. B4. We all know who number four was. Absolutely. It was Lou Gehrig of the New York Yankees. That's right. Okay, number, another number coming. I-20. I-20. Frank White. There you go. He only won eight gold gloves. My golly. That's amazing. Okay, Fizz, for another number here, partner, how about B10? B is in boy 10. That would be Dick Hauser. Who would Beautiful. Be the 1985 Royals when they Dick won Hauser. the championship. Oh, love Dick Hauser, man. What a guy. I got to know him when he was a, a coach with the New York Yankees. All right, here's my, here's my next number here. Uh, I-24. I-24. Was Willie Mays Aikens 24? I'm trying to remember. Might have been, Fizz. Your history is much better than mine. Having grown up here, you have a slight advantage. You know, the great Willie Mays was 24. We know that. Okay, I, I, I mean, this next number in letter is B, as in baseball, seven. Come on, who, seven? I mean, I feel bad that we're talking about Yankees, but all these numbers all come because most of the New York Yankees, all their numbers from 1 to 20 are all retired. So they're famous people. Mickey Mantle, sorry. All right, no, next number here. G54, G54. How about this guy here? B8. B8. That would be Mike Moustakis. Sweet, Fizz. Yeah. I, I would imagine uh, Letha Jackson. That was one of her favorite players. Letha, you know, was a school teacher for a number of years. She's out of Marysville area. Man, you know what, Fizz? Her favorite color is blue, too. I like that. Oh, yeah. Royal blue. Yeah, yeah. She fits right in. You know, she likes Shark Tank too. I know, I like that. That's a good. That's a good show. Uh, also, you know, her favorite sport is. What's that? Baseball. <laughs> Royals baseball. Ding. She gets a prize for that. All right, next number. 
068. 068. I can't remember that one. 068. Is uh, Jake Newberry, is he 68? Don't have the Royals roster handy because I probably should have if I was thinking. Yeah, Ryan O'Hearn, 66. Uh huh. Our next number, I 18. Saves. I 18. There you go. Guy was a pretty good pitcher, wasn't he? World champion. Yeah, he was. Outstanding. Cy Young Award winner, too. I 25. I 25. Oh, yeah. Is everybody, is anybody having as much fun as I am? <laughs> we are. Well, you know, Charlene Smiley was a big fan of 70s music. Huh? Do you have a favorite song from the 1970s? Are you kidding, Fizz? That was my era, man. I know. <laughs> fun. They, the greatest music in the world was invented in that time. It's fantastic. Hey, how about, how about, you know, gosh, you want bands, you know, Led Zeppelin, the Eagles, I mean, all of the greatest bands after the Beatles and Michael Jackson, you know, during that time was, you know, Peter Frampton, Leonard Skinner. Um, shoot, those guys are all great. How about if we go with our next number and letter B14, B14. Pete Rose, number 14, he was one of your favorites. Who was? Pete Rose. Oh, man, are you kidding? It's fantastic. I got a, hey, hey, hold on, hold on a quick second, Chris. Wait on, wait a quick second here. I'll show, I'll show the folks, I'll show them what I got here. Since you brought him, since you brought him up, let me show you my baseball bat from Pete Rose. That's right. Yeah, it's my baseball bat that Pete Rose signed me. He said, uh, two Rex, a real gamer, good luck. Pete Rose. And I've got a baseball signed by Pete Rose. And on one side, it says, Stacy, will you marry me? And on the other side, it says, but not until I get the hit. Because we had a <laughs> delay because Pete Rose, uh, we had to wait for him to break Ty Cobb's record. Because I was a Reds broadcaster then. Oh, Biz, that's a great story. How about I-27? I-27. Hey, Fizz, when were the Beach Boys in? Was that in the 60s or were they 70s? It was the 60s and the 70s. Okay, because you know what? That 60s might have been your time. <laughs> <laughs> I got, I got 071, 071. 071. Hmm. Claudia Volkun. Volkun? She's the one who likes the Beach Boys. That's her favorite group. You know, you had, you had a 27 earlier, and that, Adalberto Mondesi. Oh, yeah. Speaking of him, Fizz, this, this delay we've had in the season has been a blessing for that young man. Get his shoulder totally healthy, and when, whenever they kick it back up again, to have a, a, a catalyst-type player like Mondesi in your lineup, oh, Every team in baseball needs a guy like him. That's a blessing. All right. B5. B5 is our next number. That would be George Brett. There you go. Fire away another number there, Hud. You got it, bud. Here we go. We, got it. we want another number right here. How about <laughs> B1? B1. B1. Busy. Fizz, you know what? I miss you. It's been it's fun bantering back and forth with you. Well, we've only been doing it for 25 years, so I, I know, and I miss you. Now doing bingo is something different. We haven't had a chance to do that before. All right, in 43. By the way, uh, number one is Nikki Lopez. Number 43, I think that was Al Fitzmorris's number, if memory serves me correctly. Fitzy. The great sinker baller. All right, next number. <laughs> B11. B11. 
Didn't Jeremy Guthrie wear 11 as a pitcher? That's rare. How about Jay Gus? Next number. 062. 062. Hmm. Remember, the winner gets a Royals gift basket. Oh, that's nice, it is. G46. 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 Next number. N31. You know, maybe for second prize, if, if, if Claudia doesn't win, maybe we can give her her favorite ice cream, which is butter pecan. Oh, man. Yeah. I'm like it. Oh, her smile. Oh, she just went, yeah, butter pecan. That's right. Way to go. How about N33? N33. No, we've had a lot of good 33s in Royals history. That's no question about that. Yeah, we do. 064 is our next number this afternoon. 064. How are we doing? Is anybody getting close? Kevin Seitz, your war number 33. Marty Patton. First 33 was Bob Oliver. And we became great friends with his son, Darren. Another left-hander. Yep. B6. B6. Whenever I think of number six, my, when I, I wore number six in Little League HUD because of my hero for the Minnesota Twins, Tony Oliva. I love Tony O. Oh, what a player, Fizz. And I'm not talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't very good. It's okay, though. You were... You're one heck of a broadcaster, Fizz, and I'm riding your coattails, buddy. Believe that. <laughs> Somebody's got four down there, huh? All right, here we go. Buck Martinez was the first number six in Royals history. Who was? Buck Martinez. Oh, man, what a catcher. Yeah, and then, of course, you had Lorenzo Kane in ward number six, and so did oh. Willie Wilson. Oh, low Kane, man. Low Kane can. <laughs> oh, and, and Willie Wilson, he absolutely could. Fizz, hold on a second. Let me take Willie off the wall here and show you guys. I got Willie Wilson's autograph right there on that paper, man. That's beautiful. All right, Fizz, next number, 070. 070. 070. All right, here we go. Next number, B9. Benign. It's a good word. B9. Sweet Lou Pinella award number nine. He was who my is? Sweet Lou Pinella, who taught uh -oh. you how to hit. Whoa, Lou is the greatest. What a what a, a, a rookie of the year, huh? Okay, let me let me read that. What you say? I really, I can't read that. I really need four more numbers. All right, G forty nine. All right, G forty nine. Hey, hey, Fizz. Yes, sir. When I, when I got to play baseball in Japan in 1993, and I went there and they asked me what number I wanted, I, I told them I wanted, I wanted you know, a, a good number 10 is what I like. They said, no, you can't have any numbers in the top 40. And I said, <laughs> what? Okay, let me have 49 then. Because one of my favorite, uh, one of my good teammates and friends, Ron Guidry, wore number 49. So I, I, had, to, I had to go with it. I watched him pitch on the MLB Network the other day. He was fantastic. I watched him struck out 17. Fizz, you know what? I, I got tired of Gator. For, the, for a week, they were showing the Yankees, and he was striking everybody out. I'm like, you know what? That guy, he's the greatest ever, man. 
You know, uncle, we know we can strike guys out. Okay, 066. Right, burn. I'm going to have to go through this and try to figure out how to do it. <laughs> okay, next number, N35, N35. N35. That's right. N35. Eric Who's that? Eric Cosmer. Oh, wow. Cos, I forgot. Cos is great. Hey, do you know that we're going to see Austin here, or we were supposed to? He was coming to the K with the San Diego Padres this year. I know. Well, yeah. we may have to see him in Arizona. That's right. I sure hope that works, Fizz. I hope our fans get a chance to watch this ball club of ours. It's going to be good this year. In 40. In 40. Next number, I-22, I-22. G-56, G-56. We already, let me see, four, oh yeah, okay, we got that one. I was thinking of that number 22, and I think Dennis Leonard was, number 22, but probably the last one that we remember was Wade Davis. Oh, yes. Later, check please. Exactly. Oh, 67. G60, G60. Did you know that Wilma's favorite ice cream is strawberry? Wow, that's pretty good. I love strawberry too. Next number, I-17. Hey, Fizz, did you know that Don Varney likes pistachio ice cream? That's his favorite? Whoa, and Hunter Dozier's number 17. He's a big pistachio fan. Oh, man, what a player he is. B12, B12. We all need a B12 shot. <laughs> Somebody got to be getting close here pretty soon. Duke Lachlan, he wore number 12. Oh, yeah. And, and you're wearing number 12. Jorge Soler's number 12. Solar power, Fizz. Believe that. One. And let's get I-16. I-16. You know what number pops in my head for that number? Garrett Anderson. Angels. Yeah. Next number. B-13. Bo Jackson was number 16 with the Royals. Oh, wow. What a man. I got his baseball bat, Fizz. You want to see it? I'm sure you do. You've got like everybody's. <laughs> I know. We don't have time. Sorry. All right. G55. G55. EJ Holo. G55. Never heard of the bum, Fizz. He's a center for the Kansas City Chiefs when they won the first Super Bowl. My bad. And he wasn't a bum. He was a Super Bowl champion. My bad. <laughs> All right, how about, uh, how about B2? B2. Because, you know, I noticed a lot of our players today are, are, are football fans, and maybe it's because the Chiefs won. I don't know. Is it because the Chiefs won or what? A lot of baseball fans, too. I saw that on their bios. Okay, man. We got to have them. We got to have them. All right. Oh, seven, five. Oh, seven, five. Well, Jerry Mays was a great defensive end on that Super Bowl team award number 75. Yes, way to go, man. You are knocking them dead. I love that. <laughs> Chiefs and Royals rule. Yeah, they do. Oh, seven, two. Oh, seven, two. Isn't Jose Abreu number 72? 
<laughs> this was with the White Sox. He, he might be. Too bad we didn't get a chance to play the Sox uh, uh, opening day. But you know what, though? They'll be an opening day, and we might play them. Yep, you're right. They could just start right at the beginning and just go from there. What, what do you have next? We don't know. Oh, 073. Oh, 53. You're running out of bingo balls. Oh, I am. We don't have an 053. Another one. How about N45? N45. G53. G53. That's the one I was missing. Oh, I just saw Wilma Grimace. She must be getting close. <laughs> okay, here we go. How about G51, Wilma? G51. Two more now. Okay, here we go. Running out of balls. I19. I-19, Biz. Joe Montana wore 19 with the Chiefs, 16 with the 49ers. Wow. Our participants today may be surprised, Biz, with your knowledge. I'm not. <laughs> we, we, we call him professor. That's, what, that's his nickname. He knows everything. And, and you know what? When you're doing three-hour baseball games uh, seven days a week, you need somebody like him. Believe that. Next number. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Dropped. Grab another one. N38. N38. Okay, I got four balls left, Miss. I know. Claudia's N close. I know that. N36. All right, three balls left is all I got. I... 21. Bingo. Bingo. Oh, the winner. Yeah. Who's the winner? Yeah. Is that Mary? Letha. Letha. I think Letha. Oh, Letha. Letha. Letha Jackson. You know, she was the bingo newcomer of the year in 2018. So, Letha, we're very proud of you. We knew that you'd come back and you had that that injury to your, your index finger when you're picking up a, a bingo piece and placing it down, but you battled back and we congratulate you and we're gonna send you a Royals gift basket. Woohoo! <laughs> Way to go, Lisa. Congratulations on winning our, our first annual bingo. Bingo with the greats. Well, you, you know who won? The lady who loves Shark Tank and you've got the little tank there that you can <laughs> the uh, bingo balls out of. They all laugh at me here. Uh, love it. There you go. <laughs> hey, hey, teacher too, you know, teachers are awesome. Way to go, Letha. Well, we really <laughs> appreciate all of you guys being involved. And, of course, we had 10 great competitors. Uh, they were fighting it out uh, for this first annual Tiffany Springs Senior Living Center blackout bingo competition and uh, Letha Jackson is the winner so congratulations to Letha we'll have her on the post game show in uh, in just a little bit but lastly we'd like to challenge other broadcasters guys like Ryan Lefevre and Joel Goldberg and Jeff Montgomery and Steve Stewart and Denny Matthews and even outside the realm like Dwayne Kuyper of the Giants or Jeff Levering of the Brewers or Eric Nadell of the Rangers to maybe get involved with Blackout Bingo in their senior communities. Well, how about, how about Steve Stone of the White Sox? You know, there, we got to have Stoney. And then, you know, we've got to get Cleveland in there. Bert Flylevin and Dan Gladden. Oh, yeah, th th that's Minnesota. Yeah, you know what's so great physically? We had a chance to travel the country and meet all, all these uh, great broadcasters and people. But, you know, what's special about today is uh, – is, is, is our fans that are right here. You know, these people are, Fizz, do we have like a Q&A? Is there a chance we could do Q&A? 
actually, we're running out of time. We're, we've got uh, future programming. We've got to go back onto the Ocho, which is going to be having um, shark wrestling competition shortly. <laughs> <laughs> but we'd like to thank our competitors today for being with us. So for Rex Hudler, the Wonder Dog, and for Carrie Weir, who set up this whole thing, she's the executive chef at Tiffany Springs Senior Living. I'm Steve Fiziok saying so long, and thanks for watching and playing Bingo Blackout. We got to go. <laughs>